Because every trader is different, the trading strategies, the requirements are very unique for every trader. It is very important that your trading journal allows you to customize itself to your own needs. And in Edgewonk, we have the so-called custom statistics. So when you add a trade or you want to edit a trade, you can open it and under advanced trade data, you see the area for custom statistics and they are 100% customizable. You can tag and analyze whatever you want. For example, Time frames. You can tag what is the time frame that the trade was based on, what are the confluence factors, do you want to trade specific price patterns, maybe candlesticks, do you want to track your level of preparation, did you prepare, you didn't prepare, you can tag your mental state, how did you feel in general, are you stressed, are you in a good mood, you can track indicator values, specific indicator situations, you could track the state of the market, is the index up, is it down, is it risk on, is it risk off, you could tag things like the news events, you could tag anything that you feel that you want to analyze and see how is it impacting your performance so that you can find your edge and get very personalized and deep insights into your trading performance. And once you have done that, you can then go to your chart lab and under custom statistics, you will find a analysis and a visual breakdown. For example, when we look for the general market and what you have tracked, you can see it seems like you are performing very well when the index is up, when there's a risk on, and you are not performing so well when the index is down or when there's risk on. Very interesting insights. You can then obviously also go to the time frames and you can see the lower time frames are maybe performing better for you, the higher time frames are not working so well. You could see which are the patterns that are working for you. The wedge and a triangle and the range is good. And when there's no pattern, it seems like you are losing money on average. You could look for your mental situation. How is it correlating with your trading performance? And it seems like if you are preparing well and if you are generally in a good mood, you are performing much better uh, compared to the other situations. And so there are almost no limitations to what you can track with the custom statistics under settings. And when you scroll down, you will find the custom statistics. You can add them, you can change them around, you can delete them, you can add more. You can rename the general custom statistic if you click here in the heading. You can add new comments, for example, if you have an unused custom statistic, you can just add a new entry and then rename it. Currently, there are 11 slots. We are in the near future adding more slots. For now, it is limited to 11, but we're going to increase the amount of custom statistics very soon. Another very helpful way of analyzing your trading data is once you go to your trade analytics, you can also get a breakdown for each custom statistic. For example, if you want to analyze the time frame, you'll find it under add ordering criteria. Here's the time frame, and then you just click on the plus icon. It will be added here to the ordering criteria that are active. And then once you click on this arrow, you will see a breakdown of the different time frames that you have tagged using the custom statistics. You will see how many trades there are for each time frame. You will see the average quantity, the win rate, the expectancy per trade, the total sum of the profits or losses, the profit factor, the average are multiple. And once you scroll to the right, you will see that there is a very detailed breakdown for each of the custom statistics. If you want to get rid of this ordering criteria, you click on the minus icon, it is gone. And then you could add another, for example, you want to analyze the indicator. And after a short loading period, you can then open here your indicators and you will get again a very detailed breakdown for all the trades that have been tagged using a specific ordering criteria. You could obviously also layer different layering criteria. For example, we want to add, analyze the outcome. And for example, now you have on your first ordering criteria, break even trades, losing trades, winning trades, but you can go even one step further and for example, add the patterns. So we go to patterns as a second ordering criteria. And then once we open that, you can see we have your winning, losing, break even trades, and we can now break it down by the pattern. What does winning trades with a range have in common? What does losing trades with no pattern have in common? You can also switch this around for another way of looking at your data. And now at the first layer, you have your pattern. And then when you look at it, you can see that you can now distinguish between winning and losing trades. So this is a very, very detailed way of looking inside your personal trading data, find correlations, analyze your edge. You can find out what is working well, what isn't working well. And you can also look at ways 
on how to improve your trading. If you want to learn more about all of this, go to your account and then here under journaling course, click on it. There's a free course that we developed for every Edgewonk user. It's a video course and it will guide you step by step through your journal, help you understand it, help you how to use it in a very efficient way. And if you have any questions, always make sure to reach out to us.